In 2007, my wife and I joined a small team with a big vision to make a difference in Melbourne. Gripped by the gospel of Jesus, we had a dream and a prayer to plant a church and see Melbourne experience the beauty, the truth and the relevance of Jesus. Since then, we've seen God do immeasurably more than we could ever think or imagine. We've seen communities formed, we've seen new churches planted. Uh, and by God's grace, we've seen hundreds of men and women give their life to Jesus. And yet this story is far from over. Melbourne continues to be a great city, a city bursting with cultural diversity, innovation and creativity. And yet the city has changed. Melbourne has faced challenge. And amidst this uncertainty, we're setting our eyes on Christ, ready to step out in faith, hope and love. Jesus is good news of great joy for all people. In Him there is life, there is hope, there is meaning and purpose and great joy. City on a Hill, now is the time for us to come before God in prayer and humble dependence. Now is the time for us to seek His heart for our church and our city anew. Today marks the beginning of Reimagine. Reimagine is a season to go deep with each other and deep with God. Reimagine is a new chapter to enlarge our vision and to dream big. Reimagine will take place in three stages. The first of these three stages will be reflect. In the months of April, May, June and July, we as a church together will be seeking God's vision for our city and for this church. We will be focusing on five key areas. First, we'll be gathering in our gospel communities for four weeks of intentional reflection, vision, and prayer together. Second, we'll be establishing working groups. We're committed to building gospel gatherings, to growing communities of life, love, and maturity, to equipping the next generations, and to pioneering mission and mercy. And these working groups will be designed to focus on one of these key areas for further reflection. Third, we'll be establishing focus groups, a chance to ask people of our city who don't know Jesus, your friends, people in your networks, what they think. Fourth, we'll be asking key stakeholders from all around our city. And finally, most importantly, we'll pray. We'll spend time asking God to move in our city, ask His Spirit to guide us, to grow our affection for Jesus and to change people's lives. After we have completed the first stage in July of this year, we will move from Reflect to Renew. Renew marks the second of our three stages. Having sought after God's vision for our church and for our community, we will share what God has revealed. This will be our opportunity to set our eyes on the horizon ahead and to renew our commitment to God and to His plan and purpose for our life. Finally, Reimagine will culminate in our third and final stage, Relaunch. Having reimagined our vision and renewed our commitment, we will gather for one combined and united service to officially launch our vision and celebrate God and His goodness and grace. It is no accident that you are here. God has brought each of us to this city and to this church. Over the coming weeks and days, you will hear many opportunities, ways that you can be involved. But first and foremost, I want to invite and encourage all of us together to pray. Pray for wisdom. Pray for vision. Pray that God would enlarge our hearts and increase our faith, that we'd stand as a city on a hill, shining the light and love of Jesus.